along with all 769 other Treasure Mountain Junior High students at my school, I walk in the doors knowing that I'm going to be judged and that I will judge. Now, it's not just the kids judging kids. It's everyone. Every day, we walk in through the school doors, and we are judged by our principals, teachers, and our fellow peers. You're probably saying to yourself, well, I don't remember ever judging someone but everyone has, whether it's good or bad. And the stuff that is said about us that we may be ashamed of hurts the most. And we will never forget that. We will always feel the shame. When something is said about us or done to us, we will remember that. Just a few weeks ago, I asked my mother, do you remember ever being judged or, bu or bullied? She said, in the third grade, one of her classmates was jealous that she had a Barry Manilow record, so he snapped it in half. Now, my mom is 48, and she still remembers back to the third grade. It seems that we remember more of the bad stuff than we do of the good. And if my mom can remember having something of hers broken, we can remember all the awful stuff said about us, or even the awful stuff we have said or done. As Monica Lewinsky states in her recent TED Talk, not a day goes by that I'm not reminded of my mistake and I regret that mistake deeply. I love how she stated that, because it's not just the mistakes that other people make that affect us. Like Lewinsky, we make mistakes, and we don't need anyone else to remind us of those mistakes. Lewinsky judged herself and her mistake more harshly than anyone else could, but was reminded of it over and over and over, which made it 10 times worse. In school, we judge and stereotype people. There's the theater geeks, the normal geeks, the popular kids, the jocks, the nerds, the cheerleaders, and the outsiders. If you're part of the popular group, you must be a bitch or mean or even rich, right? Or being part of the jocks, you must be dumb or strong. Why can't the nerd be strong? Why is it that we make these assumptions about certain people? It's because we grow up watching movies and TV, looking at social media, and even the real life situations that always distinctly separates the different types of groups. Now, I am one of the theater geeks. That has never bothered me, and I wouldn't say I'm a theater fanatic and all I do is theater. But being part of the theater geeks as a guy, I was always being called girly or feminine or even gay in middle school. Now, that shouldn't be shaming, but it was. Because at this age, everything we hear must be true, right? No, it was shaming because I thought to myself, why are people using that as an insult? I asked myself, shouldn't I be proud of who I am? Shouldn't everyone be proud of who they are? We should be, but we aren't, because what we are is judged. Our parents tell us, during this time you are finding yourselves, but how are we supposed to find ourselves when what we have found inside ourselves is being judged? Why are we not allowed to be proud of ourselves? Is there something wrong with pride? But see, we need to feel pride, because if we can't be happy with ourselves now, it's just going to be so much harder to be happy with ourselves when we are older. If you've ever judged someone about being fat, this is the effect you may have had on them. About 40% of all teens called fat said they missed meals to get thinner, and 17% said they had been on a diet since the age of 12 or younger. Even if you've never called someone fat, you may have either been called, thought it, or know someone that has been called. If you were judged or bullied severely when in middle school, here are a few of the things you may have experienced during the event. In the short term, anger, depression, anxiety, increased illness, lower grades than non-bullied peers, and suicidal thoughts and feelings. Those are just a few examples of how the effects of judging and bullying and how they can impact certain people. Not all teens attempt suicide, and that can be because of the positive reinforcement their friends and family may have had on them. And that can be anything from your friends and family giving you compliments, people telling you it's okay to be who you are, and even other people telling you not to listen to the awful things said about you. But the ones who lack positive reinforcement may experience a few things when they are older. In the long term, reduced occupational opportunities, self-esteem problems, increased tendency to be a loner, and the need to go through intense therapy. 
a few weeks ago, the first ever deaf NBA player, Lance Allred, came and talked to my leadership class and asked us, why is it so difficult to be complimentary to each other? It is so much easier to think of the good in someone than to rather think of the bad. Because all the bad is going to do is get you in an upset mood. But if you think of the good, you'll be so much happier. Now think, just one last time, do you regret shaming that little kid in middle school? Thank you.